Hey folks, Dan here, the rain update. Today is December 10th, 2021. Just think, two weeks till Christmas. Yes. Okay, inflation numbers just came out. Not looking good. Job numbers came out yesterday looking good. So let's put this in a little context. That's what we're going to talk about next. So don't go away. Stay tuned. Headline news, let me get out of the way. Inflation surges, highest since 1982. Holy shnikes. Let's listen to Rick Santelli bring us up to date on what's going on with the inflation front, where the pockets of big inflation are, and is once you extract a lot of the, some of the energy and other things out of the equation, how's inflation look at that point? So take it away, Rick Santelli. All right, uh, it's now 8.30 on the dot. We're awaiting these numbers, of course. It's the November read on Consumer Price Index, up eight-tenths, up eight-tenths on headline. That, in a way, is good news because that nine-tenths in the rearview mirror was the highest level since 2008, let's call it 13 years. If you strip out the all-important food and energy, it's up half of 1%, up 4.5. Uh, and that is moderating from some of the recent higher levels, and that is a good thing. But here's the money ball numbers year over year. Year over year, up 6.8, up 6.8. And this, of course, is a new record. That is the highest level since June of 1982, 1982. And if we look at X, food and energy, year over year, it's up 4.9. And that also is a high watermark. That is the highest level since June of 1991. We'll call it 30 years. Uh, these numbers were expected, as a matter of fact, on the year-over-year -year numbers, the analysts and sources I talked to nailed it. They, they had the predictions right on. And if you look at what's going on with the interest rate complex, it really isn't moving all that much on any of them. We were testing the 70 over 70 level in twos. It's Well, it's right there. It dipped a bit. Now it's right there. We're hovering right around and below 150. And, and many are probably scratching their heads. Why? I think much of this was built in. I still think that there are many that believe some of these issues will moderate. But as your last guest, you know, the topic was energy. I will continue to hang my hat on some of these longer term predictions that lack of investment in the energy complex due to policy mistakes and the handoff from fossil or renewable is going to definitely continue to put upward pressure on these. Many think we're going to see 125 to 150 in the years ahead on crude oil. And I'm not sure that I can disagree with that. Joe, back to you. Just had Jeff Curry from Goldman. Okay, so you saw the headlines. What's going on with the inflation front? And Rick Santelli, you can tell which side of the aisle he is politically because he is just bashing the Biden administration on the energy policy. We are not a political channel, and I don't even want to go down that realm, but you just know that inflation is running rampant. Another thing that's going to cause a lot of uh, inflation to stick maybe a little more than I even anticipated possibly is wage inflation. For some reason, I've I had several conversations with people today, manufacturers um, and the likes, and they're like, dude, we can't get people to come back to work. and we can't, we can't put a beat on it. Yeah, it has something to do with wages. Yeah, it has something to do with vaccinations. Yes, it has something to do with uh, child care. Yes, it has something, but there's always something. So that front, I'm keeping a close eye on because why? Uh, the Federal Reserve has two mandates. The biggest mandates that they have are, and the reason they're in existence, is price stability, that's inflation, and job uh, stability or job um, full employment. I'll put it that way. And the jobs are coming back and they're going to come back as people get more and more in need, I'll say, of money. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there in need of money, but if you look at the assets out in the economy right now, People's um, bank accounts are more flush now than they've been in years and years and years and years. However, if you're not working and you're relying on the Social Security benefits and other, not Social Security, the unemployment benefits and other things, it's going to start to taper and you're going to start pulling away from those savings accounts at some point have to go to back to work. Um, so let's leave it at that. And it's no disregards to anybody or no disrespect. I'm just telling you the facts behind it. So let's get on to the puzzle. Why are you here? Well, what's going on with mortgage rates? So here's rates. Here's how they opened. 
this morning and how they closed last night. You can go through there. It's pretty simple to read. These are not my rates. These are the national averages. So if your rate is higher than this, there might be a reason. If your rate is lower than this, there might be a reason. Where I wanted you to focus in on is what your rate is in comparison to this. And if you're refinancing or getting a mortgage, how much in costs are you paying? That's what we want to be stay focused in on. So right here, let's go through the 30-year uh, num numbers. And it's pretty simple to see. You have the 30-year fixed rate at 3.21. Yesterday it was three, or the day before is 3.25. That means rates went down 0.04. We reference that as four basis points, okay? Making it really simple. The 15 year, 255, it's down four basis points from uh, the previous day as well. FHA and VA, 2.9, down one basis points. Jumbo, down three basis points at 3.12. And the five year arm is uh, an adjustment of down eight basis points to 347. Just throwing this out there, why take an arm if you can get a cheaper rate on a fixed rate? Okay, so the next thing is what, What's uh, with its inflation number coming out? How is the bond market reaction, especially mortgage-backed securities? And that's why you're here. So in the mortgage-backed securities market, why do I follow this? And why do people follow me? It's exactly this. My, the biggest question I get is, Dan, where are rates going? And this is kind of my crystal ball to let me know between this, the economic data, and a lot of other things that I do, phone calls, interviews, conference calls, and such. I try to keep a beat on the market and what's going on. So let me just give you a quick caption of this. This is what's happening to the price, the price of this mortgage-backed security bond. This is a bond that trades on Wall Street that is the biggest component of your mortgage rate. So depending on how the yields are going on this, uh, it's telling me the direction of your mortgage rate. Is it up or down? Well, just give you a caveat. When this price is up eight basis points, that means the yield. So if the price goes up, the yield comes down. So now this is one of the gauges that I watch and a lot of economists watch. The Fed does watch this, but they're more entrenched in the uh, PPI. So, but let's just look at CPI, the consumer price index. This is just how much have, have prices gone up over the last, this says month to month. It went up 0.8, so almost one full percent. Might not seem like much, but you imagine having prices go up 1% a month, yikes. So last month was 0.9. The consensus was 0.7 and it went up 0.8. So kind of in, in the right direction. It's going down a little bit. Let's go over um, if you e extract out food and energy. Well, you need food to live and you need energy for your house and to cook food and get to work and everything else. So it's kind of it, it, what what, why they do this is it's more quickly volatile than a lot of other pieces of the market is the best way to put it. Previously, we were at 0.6. The expectation was 0.5. We came in at 0.5. Good number. What's freaking out people is right here. This is X food and energy where we were for the year. So year over year, we're up almost 5% from where we were last year. And that's what Rick Santelli said. But where is, hold on, let me find the consumer here. Year over year, just in general with everything, Last month we were at 6.2, consensus was 6.8, we came in right with consensus. So they hit that on the button. Will it get adjusted? Probably not. I think this, this number is going to be very, very steadily consistent. What's going on intraday after these numbers came out? Well, I'm even a little bit shocked because we kind of tanked out of the gate, but then we rallied up and we're up eight basis points. You can see there's been red throughout the whole day and then we had a reversal. So... I think everything's been baked in, and that's why you didn't see a complete debacle crash of this market because the the traders, I'll put it that way, we're expecting, we were expecting this number to come in like that. So that's not really freaking everybody out. It's basically saying, okay, the numbers came in what we thought they would be. So that's what's going on right now with the economic data, especially that with the inflation numbers. So if you'd like to get reach and get in touch with me. You're like, Dan, I like what you're doing. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to buy a house, trying to build a house, trying to refinance. I'm in forbearance. I want to do a cash out refinance, fix my basement. So what's my best options? I got a great idea for you. How about if I give you the option to apply at one place, have your loan scanned over 180 different lenders in the country, and it won't cost you anything. How do you do that? Reach out to us. We're one of the largest brokerages in the entire country, okay? So think of me as an affiliate of a, of a lender. You come to me, I do all the research, everything for you. The bank pays me a fee, 
okay? I can, I can get you lower rates, lower fees, and make sure with my staff that you're in the right program. That's the biggest thing we want to focus in on. If you're in the mortgage process right now, we just created a, an email address for you to send your loan estimates to. So if you're in the process right now of getting a mortgage and within three business days of pulling your credit, the lender has to send you what's called a loan estimate. We reference it as an LE. Okay, It goes over the rate, the fees, the this, that, everything, line by line by line. Email those to us. It's called email your loan estimates to LE or loan estimates review. R E V I E W at the rateupdate.com. Give me and my staff time to review that, go over it, scan all the companies in the country, basically for you, and then get back with you on what we can find you. Okay, what's the services cost for our fee, or what's our fees for doing all this? The lender pays us, guys. The lender pays us. Most of the time, our lender fees are zero. Okay. So just letting you know that. So how do you reach out to us? Well, the best way to do that is go to therateupdate.com. Get- or call us. This is what we love to do. Call us. 844-775-5626. Make sure you're reaching us. Make sure you're, they call and when they answer, it's a representative of the Frio team. If not, hang up. People are calling other people, impersonating us. The Loan Depot that has a very similar number. I have loan officers out there that are kind of saying they're with me. They're not. People commenting on uh, the YouTube videos. You're asking me questions. So God bless you. I hope you get the right answers. But unless the answer is coming from me, be, be careful. Be careful. And when you're calling in, make sure you're talking with a representative of the Frio team because there's a lot of impersonators out there, unfortunately. So you can get uh, you, the other thing we'd like you to do is schedule a meeting love meetings because why we can talk with you we can get your story your story is unique okay you don't want to just go online okay what do you got because there's going to be a there's going to be a disconnect there that's really going to mess you up i can promise you that uh the next thing is you can apply online if we made this as simple as we can click here it's going to it's a it's kind of really nice clean format you're going to go through it's going to take you about 10 minutes you can upload all your documents we're getting loans closed in seven to ten days you need to be cooperative with us if you want to close that fast. We're going to need you to do a lot of things electronically, upload a lot of things to us. It's really simple and secure. So that's it for today, guys. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the bell every time we post a video. You get alert. God bless you guys. I'm taking off for the weekend. I will be back Monday morning at full tilt. I will see you then. Take care. Thanks for watching.